What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm here at Garage Viana again. We're gonna be doing a uh, karting league race tonight. Uh, it's a little wet outside, uh, but it should be a lot of fun. There's, I'm in the lights category. There's about 20 of us in that category. And I think we race, I, man, I might be mistaken. I think we race with another category as well, but the lights category is just like the new guys, the beginners. You have to work your way up to the, um, to, through the different ranks. Uh, I forget what they're called at the moment, but um, yeah. My race is in about 20 minutes, half an hour, and I'm over here eating some frango passarinho. Uh, it's basically uh, fried chicken, Brazilian fried chicken, and they take a whole thigh and, uh, and uh, leg, and they just cut it. They cut it in about five or six different places. Doesn't matter if it's at the joint, right in the middle of the bone, doesn't matter, uh, but it's just so freaking good. Take a look at this. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, look at they just cut it right there. So fucking good. Alright, well, I'll check back in in a minute. Um, I have my GoPro ready and um, I'll be recording the whole race, qualifying, everything. And I will be mic'd up, so hopefully the audio comes out good for the mic. All right, guys, so I forgot to record qualifying. You're seeing me here on the last lap um, before they grid us. Conditions of the track were uh, was pretty damp. Uh, it was sprinkling on and off throughout the race and through qualifying. So my first time um, karting in the rain is definitely a learning experience. Um, but, yeah, to my surprise, as I'm pulling up to the grid here uh, for them to grid us, uh, I, my number is number six and I see that at the top and I'm thinking okay that can't be right you know how am I how did I get pole position this is only my second league race and I'm already at pole no it's got to be a 16 so I'm sitting here just chilling like okay clearly it's not me because they're calling everyone else in front um, so I don't move I'm just hanging out in the back he waves me up to the up so I'm like okay I'm like 11th or something yeah right there 11th so I'm just gonna wait here wait for the nod to confirm that I'm supposed to be right here and then he nods me to the front I was like holy shit I really did get a pole position on my second ever league race so here I am scooting the cart back getting ready to grid up getting ready to go and uh, let's fast forward and see what happens in the race because shit actually gets pretty interesting pretty fast all right here we go we're on grid ready to take off and we're off so I get a pretty miserable start uh, compared to you know the guy in second hop right behind him um, but knowing that I have the fastest lap by almost half a second, I had some good confidence in knowing that I could catch this guy. Um, just try not to make any early mistakes, try not to get too excited right off the bat, especially since it's my first time up here. Um, definitely didn't want to make any mistakes right off the bat. And uh, so far, so good. Heading into this downward corkscrew, which was kind of tricky in the rain. Um, it's very slick. And uh, I tried to set him up. And I just figured that that line that I was taking compared to the line he was taking had really no advantage other than maybe qualifying to get a good lap time, but not really a racing line. I cut him inside, pick up first again. I had a really good line there uh, through that right hand sweeper all night, and I was making up plenty of time. It seemed like I was one of the only people going wide open throttle the entire time through there. Um, which made up a lot of ground for those guys who were very hesitant in the rain um, to not go out of the bottle. So, yeah, first lap led ever. There it is right there, second race. Pretty happy about that. Uh, hopefully more to come soon. Um, entering this tight right-hand kink. The car bogs down pretty bad, and it's uphill after that, so you kind of just really slow going up through here until you finally reach this straight where you start to pick up the speed heading into the downward corkscrew and uh, I get bumped and then second and third now uh, both go by me and uh, yeah that's just the inexperience showing of my carding um, 
my, my race craft basically. Using my line, still able to stay close, uh, going down this back straight and uh, entering a heavy braking zone, lock it up, tap the rear end and before I could respond with the throttle, I'm already facing backwards. So at this point, I drop all the way back to 13th place. Pretty bummed about that. That goes the race. Um, potentially could still get a podium though, um, as you guys will see. So I uh, got some work cut out for me, but definitely doable. And um, yeah, like I said, knowing that I had the fastest lap of the night um, gave me that confidence to just keep pushing from the 13th uh, deep into the pack. So here we go, down the straight, get a good drive out of the exit, going downhill across the finish line. I'm going to pick up 12th place right here. Tight right-hander, got to get the car rotated, back on throttle, all the way down full throttle if you got the balls. And then another heavy braking zone, like I said, for the kink right-hander. The tight right-hander, sorry, not the kink. Going up the hill, extremely slow. Here we go, opportunity for a two-for-one pass right here. The guy in the middle kind of shoves it down the outside wide, almost off the track, leaving me inside room, and I go ahead and pick up those two spots. All right, and then picking up 10th place. Kind of boring here. I fast forwarded through all the sections that you guys don't really want to see, um, only to the parts where there's some good action, which there was a lot actually. Um, closing in on 9th place right here, he, t he like swings it way high, kind of fucks himself right there. Um, having to almost come backwards onto the track and uh, it sets me up with a good line on the inside. This seemed to be a very good passing zone for everyone, honestly. Um, this is where I got passed on the first lap or the second lap and, and where I made a bunch of moves. Um, what I'm really uh, taking advantage of is learning from the experienced guys, seeing where they're making passes and seeing where I can make passes and um, yeah, also carrying the speed the same speed as them as well. Picking up 8th place pretty easy off another uh, driver's uh, mistake there. That's a very fast turn to be going downhill, especially when it's wet. You can see it's starting to rain. We got some rain on the, the lens of the GoPro here. And I want to make this inside pass, but he sees me and takes, takes that line. So I uh, try to set him up here, try to get a good drive out of here. And uh, once again, it doesn't seem like there's really a bad line through there, a bad racing line. Um, so pretty much anything could work there. I get a good drive out of my corner that I really like, the right-hand sweeper. Coming into the back straight, heavy braking zone, like I said, get the car rotated back on throttle, get a good drive up the hill, which I do, and uh, I go for the inside pass here, set him up on the inside. I know I got some good speed on him. This cart seems to be very quick, very grippy, and uh, I'll go ahead and take that seventh place, I think, right? I think that was seven. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yep, here we go. Back up the kink or bogging it down. Up the straight. And now just I'm feeling the rhythm. You know, I've made a few passes already. Haven't gotten past since, and uh, I feel like I'm on a pretty good streak here. Got a great line to there. I feel like that was probably the best line I had all night. A lot of traffic up ahead as they start to bunch up from battling each other, which uh, is always great for opportunity. Uh, a great opportunity for passing, sorry. Pick up seventh place right there. And here we go. Right back up the straight, the back straight. And it just, oh man, this cart seems to just have such a good drive and push out of that corner. I'm able to just skirt right over. Pick up 6th place, heavy on the brakes, turn in, go. This guy in front of me swings wide, There's, there it is right there, 5th place just like that. And now I have a potential podium right in front of me after falling back to 13th on the first lap. So pretty dope, pretty awesome. Set up that inside pass right there, oh, uh, undercut him, taking over 4th, and now I have 3rd right in front of me. Iron Man himself. And uh, this guy was kind of unique, uh, following him with a unique experience. Very defensive driver, as you guys will see here. He makes a, a mistake, he locks it up here, gets a little squirrely, and I'm able to close a gap, but he just seems to just bulldoze right through, you know? 
very defensive driver, blocked that inside move, Kate kept it inside, look at him right now, on the straight, protecting the inside line, heavy on the brakes, he kind of screws himself though, loses some time having to swing back over, shift the weight, scrubs a little there on the curb, and I'm right on his ass, feeling like I can get a good pass. Now, look behind me though, you got almost, what, six drivers behind me, and uh, yeah, it's not looking too good, uh, you know, wasting time here trying to get around this guy uh, when there's six dudes behind me already bunching up. And uh, as you'll see here, it tends to cost me a little bit. Get a little bump from behind right there. This section was pretty tricky, very slow, very technical. Get a good drive out of my right hand sweeper right there. And uh, he's starting to pull a little bit of gap on me. Uh, you know, I'm starting to feel the pressure from behind, starting to focus more on what's behind me than what's in front of me, which is always difficult to just try and focus on what's in front. I get a great drive out of here, and I bump his cart and kill my momentum. I feel like if I didn't bump his cart, I would have had enough momentum to just purely pass him without having to, you know, put a risky move on him. I gave him the space on the outside right there. Uh, which, uh, you know, allowed me to, to pass me back. And once again, six cards right behind me, all watching the sheet go down. And, uh, I can start to feel that pressure even more. The guys are almost closer to me than they are to, that I am to him. Um, get a little bump from behind again. Get a little squirrely here. Starting to rain pretty bad at this point. Uh, yeah, excuse the lens, I really don't have the option. Get a great drive out of the right hand sweeper here. Just a great drive in it. Now I feel like at going up the hill, I have the potential to pass him now. And I make that mistake. Oversteers it. And, uh, you know, he's not very fast going up to here. But uh, that slight mistake killed that momentum that I would have had to make that pass. And, I mean, you see, I'm coming down the straight and I'm close on his ass. And he's turning right into me. You know, he's not even really trying to. Uh, defend too much uh, rather than just trying to shove me into a shitty line trying to over uh, trying to muscle me basically I make that mistake and two people go by me three people go by me and now I'm back to seventh so from fourth to seventh just like that uh, I'm starting to learn carding is this is just how it goes and then now I have another guy inside and I have to let him go by I can't you know do anything about that that's eighth right there so you know with a matter of two turns falling all the way back to eighth uh, pretty shitty but um, yeah I mean it's just I don't know giving me the confidence knowing that I have a really fast cart really fast lap times get a little oversteer from the guy in front of me I'm trying to see if I can maybe nudge it up there not gonna be able to do that I'm going to go ahead and hop behind the guy all the way to the left. There's no reason to hop behind uh, anyone else on the inside. Get a great drive out of there, but the guy to my right kind of messes up and makes a mistake and forces me a little wider than I'd like to go. And it's just an all-out war right now, man. I mean, we got so many guys bumped up right now, and now I'm about to get past again. There we go, ninth place just like that. Uh, you know, one lap ago, I was battling for third place, and now I'm battling for ninth. It's just how it goes. It's pretty, uh, exciting, though. It's not really frustrating. It's more of just like, a, oh, shit, man. Like, anything can happen here. This guy seems to be going extremely slow in front of me now. Car, he may have bogged down the cart, but, uh, I get the inside line on him. I'll take eighth back. And I'll be extra aggressive here, almost too aggressive, I think. I even wave at him to apologize. Basically pushed him off the road. I'll take seventh back with a great drive onto sixth. And I'll get sixth down the straight. I'm telling you, this car felt like it was great, man. I, I'm very excited to see uh, how I do in my next race um, with what I know now. So we'll see. But he gets me on the inside, gives me a little nudge entering there, pushes me a little bit deeper than I wanted to be, and he's able to sneak it up inside. We'll fast forward this. It's a good battle, but I don't think you guys want to be watching battles like this where I don't make a pass all night long. Here we go. And uh, we're about to 
15 minute mark on the race as well, I think. This is a 20 minute race. Coming down the straight. I'll hop behind the guy to the left. Get a better line. Cut inside. He seemed to swing a little wide. Maybe I bumped him a little bit and ended up taking sixth from him. And oversteered and he takes it right back. So got I have some work to do for sure. Obviously, on tape, got a little spark there, a little action. On tape, clearly uh, the, the racecraft is not there. Clearly the driver's skill is not there either. Um, and then I go ahead and get passed by two people on the inside. So I went from 7th to 9th just like that. And now I get pushed up onto the grass. And the guy has an inside line. And now I'm back in 10th. So, yeah, pretty insane how fast things happen here. And I'm able to get it back real fast with that right-hand sweeper. Uh... Now I got some work cut out for me. Fast forward it. You guys will see I'll make up some ground on these dudes pretty quickly here. And uh, I go for the two for one right here. Get them both on the inside. There we go. Beautiful. I hold it real tight and trying to make sure nobody tries to undercut me. And now I'm in eighth place. I got 7th and 6th in front of me. 7th place seems to be slowing me down a little bit here. I'm all over his ass. And I think this might be the next, uh, the next lap might be the last lap. Get a good drive out of here. Coming across the finish line. I pick up 7th place. And I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Fast forward all this. Damn, I kind of really wide it out, huh? And I make that mistake going down the corkscrew, wash out, and now I'm back in A. <clears throat> this is the last lap, by the way. Right hand sweeper, he tends to hold inside, swing it out wide like that. Uh, I kind of hold the inside line, or sorry, the outside or middle line, and then close it in tight. So knowing it's the last lap, I definitely want to get a good drive out of this last hill. I don't want to bump him. I avoid bumping him. Very close to bumping him to kill my momentum. And now I sneak it across by less than .02 seconds to get 7th place in my second lead race. So as you guys will see, uh, first lap, qualified pull, which is insane to me. Didn't expect that at all. Qualified pole and on the first lap, might have been the second lap, I'm not even sure. First or second lap, uh, entering that heavy braking zone for that right hander on the back straight. Uh, locked it up and I couldn't even tell the car was not under traction. And before I could even respond with the throttle, the car just was already spinning back, or, uh, facing backwards. It was a heavy braking zone area. So uh, yeah, it's like impossible to just pull out and, and it be safe for everyone. So I legit had to wait for 19 dudes to fucking pass me before I could actually turn the cart around and uh, get going again. So yeah, sucks. I finished seventh. Uh, I got the fastest lap of qualifying and the race. So yeah, I mean, I think that's a pretty drastic improvement. Uh, second time out here. I told myself after five races, I would get a, a podium and uh, I'm already knocking on the doorstep. So. Uh, they get trophies out all the way to sixth place, but in America, we don't do sixth place trophies. We do first, second, third. So that's the true podium. That's the true goal right there for me. And uh, yeah, eventually we'll get it, clearly. I uh, just got to keep working. So I'll be back. I'm going to be practicing a little bit um, for the next one. I uh, definitely want to hone in my skills and get better at, at carding and uh, go from there. So. I hope you guys really enjoy the uh, the rental league karting. Um, eventually, I'll get into F4, which is you know you bring your own cart that you built, and uh, but that's probably further down the line, probably like a month or two away. I just need to basically get used to driving a cart. I mean, this is the first time I've ever driven a cart like this. You know, aside from K1, that this is the only karting I've ever done. And this shit's on K1. This this shit's on K1. Uh, if you don't even wear a rib protector. Say goodbye to your ribs, man. Your ribs will be fucked the next day. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Drop it in the comment section below and I'll get back to it. Um, I hope, 
I wasn't too dirty of a racer, but I feel like I made a lot of contact. I feel like I made a lot of enemies after tonight, which sucks, but yeah, it is what it is. So talk to y'all later.